coolest things about Eau Claire is the size. At least that was one thing that I liked because it's big enough where you don't know everybody, but at the same time, um, especially in the music department, I feel like you can definitely have an individual voice. And um, I think a big um, obstacle for some musicians who want to pursue music at their undergrad level if you go to a bigger university, if you go to a conservatory, you're just going to get lost compared to the graduate students, compared to just the volume of, you know, people that are there every day. And so I think here, like, even just thinking about the size of our sections and orchestra, like, we know everybody and, you know, some of those people aren't even music majors, but you can get to know them. Um, and there are some really unique opportunities because of the size. Like, I know Katie and I in April, I think it is, um, we're playing on a faculty recital and things like that where that wouldn't happen at the undergrad level. I'm not actually a music major. I have a major in interpersonal communications with a minor in music. So it's been really cool to be able to do both things that I really, really love and have a full tuition scholarship for my music minor. It's just making my whole college experience a lot better. For me, because I'm a pre-nursing major, um, having this scholarship makes me actually have to work at my music, and I think that if I didn't play in this quartet and I didn't have responsibility to practice my music, I would probably focus more on my homework and kind of lose that musical aspect of my life that's really important to me, so it's really nice to be able to do both. opportunities outside the music department. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's choirs around the area, there's lots of people getting married, and they always <laughs> want students to play for their wedding, so mm -hmm. there's gigs, mm -hmm. and there's the symphony orchestra, there's a chamber orchestra. I think the best part for me personally um, is that I would be doing this anyways. Like if I was told, hey, you're going to be in a quartet and you're going to play Shostakovich, you're going to play Mozart, you're going to have pieces written for you and stuff like that, like I would do that and pay to do that, you know, and so the fact that I can do um, or that I can, you know, receive a scholarship and receive some support for things that I'm already doing is just like, I don't know, it's kind of surreal still that I'm getting paid to play the violin. So, that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs>